Many of us look back on our teenage years as a carefree time before the worries and responsibilities of adulthood. But this generation has challenges and hardships that might completely astound you. In a rare, candid glimpse into their lives, fears, and dreams, a courageous group of teens perform their own stories on stage in a production called Project Shattered Silence. My story is more than the heartbreak that I've known. Or the soul you might not see. I'm more than the woman I choose to love. Or the girl whose father's just a memory. I am more than chasing dreams that cannot be. I am more than a number on a test. More than a number on my back. Sharing our stories makes us stronger. We are shattering the silence. Corey, do you got what I need? I don't need anything from you. Yeah. Everyone take a lesson from Corey Woo. and Gabe. My name is Jared O'Roark, and I am the artistic director of Project Shattered Silence. I want to go through pieces really quick. Uh, I read yours last night. I have an idea that I think, hope, you will love, involving humor, I hope. Um, so we'll, t we'll chat about that. Because I need you guys to understand that there are levels to this that don't just go emotional. There's also theatrical. Project Shattered Silence is a group that I created that primarily its goal is to say that our stories may be different, but our feelings are the same. We take personal stories and we put those to the stage. I have a 5.3 GPA and I'm fifth in my class. Yet with all of these accomplishments, still when people look at me, all they see is a You have solved the mystery. We're the black people. <laughs> and every time somebody mentions suicide or sarcastically says that they want to kill themselves, I'm reminded of what I could have done to help her, what I should have done to help her. I want everyone to know, especially girls, all that I've been through, that I have gained 25 pounds and that's okay. I think it appeals to them because they, they want their teens. They want to speak, they want to be heard, and I'm sorry, we as adults are not doing a very good job at making them heard because we're the ones that are like, ugh, you're a teenager. We're gonna go in there, do not freak out, but you're gonna be given a survey. The more you put, the better. I feel like there's gonna be a fight for <laughs> This is about learning what you've already gone through, okay? I'm not up for putting, putting anything on stage that you're not comfortable talking about. Um, this is not an expose. This is not like I'm going to, please, please, I need drama. Life is dramatic enough. I'm sure we will find something. When I put the survey together, what I do is I tend to try to find uh, complicated questions, make them think about their life a little more in detail. Think of things that will make them cry or will make them angry or will make them think because I think by confronting those, that's when you start to heal yourself or when you start to actually grow into yourself and realize who you are. I think this survey is really all-encompassing because it covers all the different aspects of you and it gives you different opportunities because there's some questions that allow you to be really funny and there are some questions that allow you to be like deeply serious and sad. I don't know why I put 112 questions because I could know within 20. They don't know they do it, but they bring up the same stuff over and over and over again. Usually that's their story. This means I love you. So anything that has to do with what they like about themselves is a hard question. Hey, Katie. Sorry. When I read the survey, you immediately put on your theater brain, and there's this mask. You don't have to think about the emotional aspect of it because you're busy thinking how logically it's going to fit on stage. And even though I've been doing that this year, they're just getting braver. I think the kids I have this year are the kids who saw it last year, so they know that I'm not scared of making an audience uncomfortable. Overachieving. <laughs> Thanks. I can feel like we're great. <laughs> but we're great friends because that kind of helps. Us. So you come up with 40 different ways to tell different stories. We go, parkour! <laughs> we'll talk about it. It's all done in pieces. Um, and you figure out how the puzzle works together. And then you rehearse and put it on its feet. She wanted to know what my motivation was. But I do know that Zane is going last. And it's not in any disrespect to any other person. It's just because you had siblings and parents who passed away without choice. Her dad made a choice. And there's a very strong difference. 
A moment that should be so special, so beautiful. Ruined because of what you did. I'm the cat in the hat daddy. Mm. I'm a dream role and you're not here. You chose to leave me. And guess who gets blamed for it? Me. Your whole family has decided that I'm the reason that you are dead. Okay, why don't you pause right there? Because I'm okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't you worry. It felt good. 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 Theater comes second. This isn't really a theater piece much as it is a person piece. So I start with the person and then I go to the theater. <laughs> this year they've really done it. And so maybe that's why this year was really tough for me because they have... <laughs> I've never been so honored. That's all I can say. Jenna's piece is the very, 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 very first piece done in Shattered Silence. My self-esteem is lower than zero. I have no self-confidence because I don't know where I fit in. So instead of giving in to the addiction to cut in order to feel something, I found the butterfly project. You draw a butterfly on your wrist, wherever you have the urge to cut, and then you name the butterfly someone you care about. And I chose my mom. She said as long as it is there, you cannot cut. And if you do give in to the addiction, the butterfly dies. And this idea worked for me for two years. So I raised my sleeve and the butterfly wasn't there. But the cuts were. I asked her why as she handed over her journal. I am worthless. I am ugly. I'm not worth the air. I am stupid. I want it all to end. And then the light bulb goes out. End of act one. It's good, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's harder when I think about it as I'm telling a story about myself. So I don't. I think about it like this is me telling the story about someone who's moved on to someone who needs help moving on. I want Shattered Silence to help people to realize that you need to listen. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone is going through something and you just need to take the time to listen. And if you disagree, it's okay. But it doesn't mean you don't get to listen. <laughs> Shattered Silence will be performed in the Murray Theater at Ruth Eckert Hall May 30th, 31st, and June 1st, and then June 6th through June 8th. To purchase tickets, visit RuthEckertHall.com or go to ProjectShatteredSilence.com for more information.